Everyone keeps asking me for a system water cooling guide and the reality of it is it's too much work and very few people care. So uh, maybe I'll just do sort of more random blogging about my, my system water cooling upgrades whenever I do them. So uh, step number one for this, this is a full system right now. I'm using quick disconnects because I was temporarily running a CPU only loop while I waited for my graphics card to get a water block. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drain the water out of the system and I will do that by taking my quick disconnects and uh, just uh, clipping the zip tie that I have over the barb here over a bucket, making sure that they're positioned over the bucket and then re basically removing both of the quick disconnects. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, that was it. I actually don't need much of the water drained out because all I'm gonna do is cut this piece of tubing, cut this piece of tubing, put a full cover block in there with a video card attached to it, and then I'm going to uh, run the system and uh, uh, refill the res as necessary. Okay, so I've swapped out the old graphics card and swapped in the new graphics card, put in my power connectors, put in my screws, so everything is hunky-dory as far as I can tell. So now all I need to do is Measure this tubing, make sure I cut it to the right length so that it'll look all nice and be the right length. And then I'm going to slip the top halves of the compression fittings onto the tubing, put the tubing on the barbs, and then screw in the compression fittings. That was it. So now I have uh, taken out the quick disconnects, taken out the extra tubing, and installed the compression fittings and tubing on my card. Now if I was Diligent, I would have leak tested this before powering it on, but I'm just going to power it on because I'm pretty sure I did everything right. I've done this a few times after all. Mind you, that kind of overconfidence is what can get you burned, so don't do that. Do as I say, not as I do. Right now, the process that I'm uh, working on is called bleeding the loop, so that is to say that I am uh, trying to get all the bubbles out, so I'm turning it on at the back. Oh, I turned it off at the back. Cat, go away. Um, so I'm turning it on at the back, starting up the system, waiting for the well, for the system to start properly first. Okay, so I'm waiting for the res to empty, and then I'm refilling it. Well, it looks like that was my last cycle. So after that, you can see there's still some bubbles left. And that's going to last for a while. Uh, one of the ways that you can get rid of the bubbles quicker is you can vary the speed of your pump to kind of try to dislodge them. You can give the system a little shake. That can help. And um, those are probably the two main techniques. I mean, yeah, you can take your tower and you can, like, move it around, but that's a lot of hassle. So anyway, at this point, the loop is filled, um, other than bleeding out the last air bubbles. And that's what it looks like. So I'll do a quick tour of the finished system now that I'm finally done my upgrade that took forever.